What up, it's Earl. We doing what's in my bag for Amoeba. Sam, I am. And I have things. Face drinking smoker, it held me duck when emotion jab. Fame is the culprit who get me drugs without owing cash. Sip until I melt. So I'm trying me, I'm dodging, falling victim to myself. So my finger to the help. When it's problems, I don't holler, rather fix them on myself. When it's looking like it's quiet for you, this the shit that yeah. Alright, let's just start with these out the gate. This was prompted by Sam. All of these really <laughs> shitty, fucking amazing. Horror movies, we got Mad Cow, Part Man, Part Cow, utterly crazy, you know what I mean? Let's get that going. Uh, viral Assassins, this looks terrible. Are you boys planning on partying and playing strange bellhop games? Are you for real? They're all trauma films. Redneck Zombies is definitely a go. This is a good one. I actually watched this Watch years Redneck ago. Redneck Zombies. There's a bunch of fat guys with overalls getting toxic waste poured on them, and then they turn into zombies. I don't know if there was anything else that made it good, but that was that was enough for me. And then we got Toxie. If you don't know what's good, then it's fucked for you. And I don't think I've seen this one yet. Citizen Toxie. I mean, he's got on a fucking tutu and the cover of this one, so that's a go. So the guy is uh, the janitor at some kind of country club and he, he gets toxic waste dumped on him and he turns into a, a superhero, a big mutated superhero and he just fights crime. He beats people to death with a mop and stuff like that. It's really good. These are deep though, like these are deep in the series, so there's like existential questions on the back, like what's a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength to do after he's eliminated crime from his hometown? It's like a coming of age story. So we're gonna waste um, a good amount of time with these. Have a taste of hell! There we go. Mm -hmm. Don't look at that side. Explain, explain yourself. <laughs> the resonance. This album I haven't heard, I don't know what it's about, but it says that this side explains why Hitler was a vegetarian. He's off Ralph Records. I don't know, I don't, what, how do you explain the residents? The residents? They're just crazy. Yeah, they're just, they're good food for your sampler. We got a bunch of resident stuff. This Duck Stab, amazing. Intermission. Shouts out to the residents, man. This one has the most fire on it. It looks disgusting, but then it's just a mouth with a toothpick in between each other tooth. Yeah, then you got these dudes in the toothpick haystack. It's pretty chill. These guys are really dope. They perform with giant eyeball masks on top of their heads. Residents. If we could see clearly, what we were beside. If there was no desperation, would we be alive? Moving right along. Had to pick up the Ethiopian soul and groove. If you don't know what's good with Ethiopian music, just go listen to some Ethiopian music. Check the food out too. It's always time for Ethiopian everything. Start at Fairfax, go to the entry level mm -hmm. Ethiopian food. Mercados, Nialas, go nice get you a big ass one of those cake places. at Hanson's. <laughs> Couple gospel 45s. This label has good stuff on it a lot of the time. So which one is that? I can't remember. Savoy. The artist is the famous Ward Singers. This song is called Hold Back the Tears. So I thought anyone who's at the verge of crying singing a gospel song is probably gonna have something I enjoy listening to. I fell on my knees crying. There's a lot That's of really bad gospel. Really? Yeah. It if has, it's just like boring as fuck. There's no soul. No soul. Major chord progressions. It's all just very happy. Or just like. That can ruin the mood. If you don't look at the back, you'll get a gospel record with no instruments on it. Yeah. It's just like a dude in an organ talking about Jesus touching him. And then I got this uh, Andre Crouch record because I seen a bunch of Andre Crouch records at Knowledge's house and he's kind of the authority on gospel. He might have so many of those because 
the guy put out a lot of records and a lot of them are pretty easy to get. Yeah, that's the thing about gospel though. Some, yeah. It's like cheap, it's everywhere, and it's when it's good, it's fucking great. I got these dollar brand records. I try and pick up like all the dollar brand I can. South African piano player, pretty prolific. My dad put me up on that guy. Yeah, he's the best. This one and uh, this one. My dude's going ham on the back. You know what I mean? Got a couple cassettes. I don't know if I really need to buy this, but I just want to sample something off Moments in Love off a cassette. That's the fucking din din din. Yeah, exactly. And then you cut the song in. But yeah, I think the drums will probably sound good off the cassette. They had some crazy 808s in there. Yeah, that Flora. Most of these shits are heat. They always got like really good um, musicians like George Duke arranged it. Stanley Clark was on a bunch of these albums. So these are a go, like all flora. I really shouldn't have spilled those beans. Like I'm not Right, you done. said a lot of things there. Yeah, I'm not done making flora beats. Don't go get these yet. Forget that I said this. Now the world is The man Todd, Hit Factory, weirdo. He's always a go. And then I got this Sea Wind record, because the last Sea Wind record I got hit me with a real nice loop. That's a crazy cover. Yeah, fucking weird ass. Was that Fish. a piranha? Yeah. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, they look great. I'm with that. On to the mystery bag. This is the money bag right here. Two overripe bananas. Let's go. Overripe, but it's not to the point where you gotta make a banana bread with it. Got the deal. On the Haribo, shouts out to Haribo for life. Three in one total hydration for the lips. And I think that's the damage we did here today. I'm gonna watch these movies now. Mm -hmm. Everybody check out the new produce section. <laughs> awesome, thanks guys. Thank you for having us. You guys yeah, the best. thank you guys, man. Scrambling for Xanax out the canister to pop, never getting out of hand. Steady handling my job, time damaging my ties. Who turn to get up, get dude, turn to dinner quick. You circus niggas, you turning into tricks. I was making waves, you were surfing in them. This mess! Yes, sir. Dude!